welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He say the clueless and incompetent Fulani Nigerian government, led by Niger Republic, dementia ravaged Fulani terrorist bandit grand patron Muhammad Buhari, were blasted by the US government as clowns for lying that Nigeria the poverty capital of the world had performed the U.S. government in terms of infrastructure. This is very laughable according to a source in the U.S. government because construction of road is a necessity and it is not counted as an achievement in the U.S. government and other working governments all around the world. You know, Detective or Agent Fashola, the Nigerian Minister of Works and Housing, who was deceptively deceiving the gullibles, has history of deception. When he found a camera, a hidden camera, at the Lekki Toll Gate after the terrorist Nigerian army and police killed unarmed Nigerian youth protesting against police brutality, tagged answers. Agent Fashola, who deceived Nigerians against former president, good luck, Jonathan, that any nation that cannot provide its citizen with 24 hours uninterrupted electricity the, that the leader of that nation should resign. But after Buhari took over power in 2015, the Fulani Nigerian government did not add anything to the Nigerian national power grid, but they failed to maintain the 5,000 megawatt capacity handed over to them. And they have also failed to fulfill their promise of 24 hours on an uninterrupted electricity supply to Nigerians. Now, Agent Fashola has come with another lie, a very big one. He claimed that Buhari's administration has outperformed the American government in terms of infrastructure because they said that Buhari completed 941 kilometers of road in 2021. Those are audio achievements. Go all over Nigeria. Go to Biafra land. All the federal roads are dilapidated. There are in a sorry state, on the federal road. And a genfashola is here claiming that Nigeria has performed the US because of their phantom 941 kilometer road they claim to have constructed and completed in 2021. You know, when his lies were busted, he came out and said no, that they quoted him out of context, that what he meant was that the U.S. have not been able to sign their infrastructural bill at the House of Senate. You know, when you catch this Fulani Nigerian government with one lie, they will bring another lie to cover up the lie. Just like the police helicopter that crashed in Bauchi State, the police now came out and said the helicopter never crashed. They came up with a lie. I don't know why they are lying. Well, the full and Nigerian government was built on lies and deception. That's the foundation that government was built on. 
What a disgrace we have as a government that have made Nigeria a laughing stock. Imagine how the world leaders will take Nigeria as an unserious country. And that is why we Biafrans are asking for a referendum through our great leader, Mazen Amdekano, Biafra does not want to be part of Nigerian shame and ridicule. As a result of the Fulani Nigerian government lies, deception, and propaganda, we don't want to be part of it. And that is why we are asking for a referendum. That is why we want to be on our own. But the Fulani Janjaweed, does not want Biafra to go. But Biafras have warned them that we don't want to be part of them anymore because we cannot be dragged to the mud along with Fulani Tanjaweed. Events seem to be unraveling faster than anticipated for Buhari and his Fulani Nigerian government as he winds down his tenure rather unimpressively. Buhari may have done an introspection by now and realized that promises are easier made in the zoo called Nigeria, especially during political campaigns than kept due to numerous extraneous factors and forces beyond control of the maker. Some of the opposing factors are self-inflicted. Buhari pursuit of narrow and selfish end, such as his full agenda, Biafran genocide and nepotism, were the major cause of the failure of his government. Coupled with the fact that Nigeria is a forced marriage that is not working. So no matter what you do, Nigeria can never work. And that is why Biafrans are asking for referendum, because if Biafra go, Biafra will walk. It will walk. And the full Ani Janjaweed knows that. They know that. The dubious rice pyramid that was on the signing presidential aid that are adapt and lies and they say it. They wanted to use it to deceive people. Deceive the gullible. In order to make what in their minds amounts to bold political statements. That plan failed. That dubious rice pyramid plan failed because the full and the Nigerian government got exposed. The farmers that they took their rice from, the local rice from, were lamenting for their money. They wanted to sell their product and get their money. And Nigerian government, the full of the Nigerian government wanted to use it as a show. So they wanted their money. So that plan collapsed. Referendum is the only solution out of full and knee oppression and domination. Unfortunately, not only did the pyramid, the rice pyramid statement, sound al halo. It further exposed the dark underbelly of the Fulani Nigerian government to underscore the desperation in their camp. The Fulani Nigerian government is about executing another vault phase again. This time around, it is about the mud vaulted removal of petrol subsidy that the Fulani Nigerian government has executed surreptitiously and uncannily in the budget of previous years without thinking properly of its implication, the government thought all along that petrol subsidy was the real culprit of Nigeria's economic woe. How wrong was this line of thinking as it was now realized that although petrol subsidy is part of the larger economic malady that has dogged Nigerian socio-economic development over the years, the real problem this time around lies in full and Nigerian government lack of vision, crap's incompetency at governance and selective corruption. We remember vividly the animated and callous opposition mounted by the same full and Nigerian government while it was in opposition 
to former president, good luck Jonathan, government over removal of petrol subsidy on 1st January 2012, despite assurance from economic experts based on sound economic and financial indices, as well as globally best practice, the Fulani Nigerian government still resisted. They resisted the policy vehemently by gathering mobs and political talks to shut down part of the country with wide protests. Now the chicken has come to roast under the watch of the Fulani Nigerian government. Pity, unlike under former president, good luck Jonathan's government, when the country has seasoned and world acclaimed economic and financial advisors guiding the government on petrol subsidy. What we have under Buhari currently are patron economists and booker financial experts, all products of nepotism and ethno religious patronage. Their lack of depth and vision have led to several policies from assault since the inception of the Fulani Nigerian government, including that on petrol subsidy. Let us do a little fact check here. You know, we know that the Fulani Nigerian government were angry when they were in opposition that Jonathan was spending $307 billion for petrol subsidy, but they were spending $1.7 trillion naira. Compare which is almost times six of what Jonathan was spending on fuel subsidy. You know, as we can now see, the decision by the full and Nigerian government to remove subsidy was not well thought out, was done surreptitiously without consultation, and the full and Nigerian government have no effective cautioning policy other than some selective social net scheme that have thus far benefited it, their Fulani Janjaweed and their cronies. My brothers and my sisters, we can say that the Fulani Nigerian government are just deceivers. They are deceivers. You know, when during uh, the time of uh, the Honorable Finance Minister, Biafran, Okonjo Iwala, he tackled decisively the Fulani cabals who were benefiting from the scam in petrol subsidy. And now they reassembled at the banquet under Buhari, having helped him and his evil political party to attain power. This have been at the oil banquet since 2015, ensuring that Nigerian refineries remain moribund while they feasted lavishly on fuel subsidy. This cannot happen if Biafra is restored. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.